Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Poison Tap. Poison Tap is a new USB hacking device that comes from the creative hacking mind of Sammy Kamkar, a well-known security researcher that's created many hardware hack devices that we've talked about before. Long story short, this is a USB device made from a Raspberry Pi Zero, so a very inexpensive, as low as $5, a USB light computer that you can plug into a system. Essentially, Sammy Kamkar created some code with this device that when you plug it into even a locked computer, it can bypass that log screen, gain some access to your browsing infrastructure, and use that to do all kinds of things from backdooring the computer so that bad guys can remotely gain access to some of your data, to stealing a lot of your cookies from many, many popular websites, to many other very interesting things. Now, this is similar to hacks we've talked about before. In past episodes, I've talked about the Rubber Ducky, which is a USB hacking device which showed up in the popular Mr. Robot TV series. In fact, back in September, I talked about a hack Mr. Robot showed using a USB device and how that hack couldn't work through a locked window screen. However, during that month, another researcher showed how he could get a USB device to emulate a Ethernet controller, and this was a way that it could actually take over the computer's routing and then gain access to the computer. Long story short, Camcar is using the same trick. His USB device does emulate a Ethernet uh, adapter as well, which is how he can actually bypass the lock screen and gain access to some of what the computer is doing over the network. So this does seem to be an extension of that previous research from September. However, Camcar's weaponized it in a much different way. He showed how you could do it on a very inexpensive device, and he's shown how you can actually poison a lot of web traffic and, and potentially steal credentials and cookies and other things like that. In any case, I won't go into this in much detail because Camcar himself has a great video describing this hack in a lot of detail. If you're interested and you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link in this video to go watch Sammy Camcar's video, which explains it in much more detail. So, how do you protect yourself from this? Well, first of all, as far as the industry is concerned, people that manage and run websites, Camcar mentions that if you actually use the secure flag on your cookies, people can't steal them in the way he's, he's doing. On top of that, the more websites that support HTTPS, especially HTTPS with strict transport security enabled, uh, will make it a lot harder for attackers to use these sort of poisoning attacks to, to intercept some of your web communication. Now, from a victim perspective, this all happens just because someone can plug a USB key into your device, even if it's locked. There's really not a whole lot you can do to prevent that. You know, Camcar jokingly says you should cement closed your USB devices. That obviously isn't really a, a great advice, but there are tools out there that can give you more control uh, over what USB devices can connect to your computer. And Camcar does give some good advice, which has to do with if you encrypt your hard drive and you actually actually uh, put your computer to sleep, this sort of attack won't work. Anyways, very interesting research. Be sure to check out the video for full details. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.